Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. This is episode number 77. As always, I'm Shane. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also go to codekarate.com, check out the other Daily Dose of Drupal videos, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and stay tuned for upcoming courses on Drupal and other web development things. Today, since it's the last day of 2012, we're going to go over something very simple but very useful for certain websites. And the module we're going to be going over today is the automated logout module. In fact, the, mo the trickiest part of this module is actually just choosing which version to use. As you can see, there's the 7.x-2.0-beta1 version, which is the recommended release, but there's also the 7.x-4.0 version that's another other release. There's also the 4.x-dev, which is the version that I am using in this demo. I have tried uh, all of the or all three of the versions that are here for the seven, or at least the top three versions for Drupal seven, and I've been able to get all, been able to get all of them to work for uh, the just the simple situation of logging a user out after a specific set of time but you may need to of course try the ones out and figure out which works best. We're going to go ahead and get started with just a very simple example. I'll go ahead and log into my test site here. I already have the 4.x-dev module installed, so I will come into the auto logout settings. And you can see the configuration page is relatively straightforward. First you're able to set the timeout in seconds. I'm going to set this to 60 so we can keep it nice and short. This is the max timeout setting, and I believe this setting is used because there's a setting on an, a user's account page, which I'll go over. And I think this is the max value that can be entered in that field. We'll go over that after a couple seconds here. And the timeout padding is how many seconds to give a user after the nice little logout dialog window comes up, warning the user they're about to be logged out. You can also set a roll timeout, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set that all authenticated users are going to log out after 60 seconds. You could also vary the roles depending on if you had multiple roles on your site. But I'll just keep it simple and say just I'm going to just authenticated users which in theory is all logged in users after 60 seconds. Where do we want the redirect to go? To the login page of course and the message to display in the dialog window. You can also enable logging and enforce the logout on admin pages like the one I am on right now. We'll go ahead and give this a save and we will log out and login is just another authenticated user just to give it a true test. And while this is waiting here for uh, approximately one minute, just take I'm just going to take this time to remind you that if you're using a dev version of a module or an alpha or a beta version for that matter just be prepared that not everything may be as it should be or there may be bugs there may be issues or new features that you think need to be added just keep in mind that you should check the issue queue on drupal.org and see if your issue or your problem or your feature has been requested and you may, you may find a fix there or you may have to post one yourself just make sure you're doing adequate research ahead of time before you are posting your own issues. And as I mentioned before, I've, I've been able to get all of the modules to all three versions that I tried to work. However, I would usually recommend going with the newest version. And as you can see, we now got our session is about to expire. Do you want to reset it? I can click yes and it will continue my session. If I would click no, it would bring me to the user login page. But as I was just mentioning, I, I generally tend to use the newer version, so in this case the 4.0, just because in general, and this isn't always true, but in general it's going to be the more supported version going forward into the future. So if it has all the features you need, I generally like to use the newer version because that's generally where the future is going for the module. I'm going to go ahead and log back in as the admin user and just show you one other small thing. In each user's account there is 
a your current logout threshold. So this is how many seconds the user has to respond to the logout dialog before it ends their session. And this can be configured on a per user basis if the permissions are set accordingly. So if you come into permissions, there's automated logout permissions. You can allow users to change their own logout threshold. And I haven't tested this portion, so I can't vouch that it is working. I'm assuming it is, but you'll have to, if it's something that you need on your site, you'll have to give it a test and try it out. So that's really all there is to this episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal. And we'll be back again next time in 2013 with some more exciting episodes. So thanks for watching and sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already. See you next time.